Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa if you guys are new here and in today's video I am finally doing a makeup tutorial I feel like I got asked this a lot on Instagram and I did post a lot on TikTok But I realized I haven't posted one in a while on YouTube So hopefully for all the YouTube video people this one will help But this video is going to be a tutorial on my favorite natural glam look pretty much I have this look the most often that you guys see because I feel like this is is what I typically like to wear on camera and this is why this look gets asked a lot because it's usually the one that you see the most on Instagram as well I feel like I definitely go a lot lighter if I'm not on camera that day if I am just having a very chill day or whatever but even still for special days like if I'm going to a person's birthday party or whatever this is kind of the look that I have if I am gonna go out and want to do heavier makeup then I will layer more but this one is pretty much the in-between and my most used look so here is the tutorial and let's get started Okay, first things first, I very much apologize for my voice because I don't know, I've just been having a lot of voice problems. All right, getting started, I am priming my face and I am using the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. I like this primer because it gives you like this natural glow and also keeps your makeup staying on a little bit longer. And yes, I already did my skincare, so let me know if you guys want a skincare tutorial as well. Okay, first step, I like to put on my concealer because I am now trying to leave my concealer on a little bit longer. I feel like it helps with coverage and a lot of people on TikTok are saying that as well. So these are the areas that I like to do my concealer. And then in the meantime, I do the rest of my face. So for a while, I was using only the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, but because it's getting so hot in Toronto, it's getting so humid and it makes me look super shiny because of all the sweat and humidity. So now I'm using the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Nude Glow. This one is for sure different than their original one because their original one is extremely heavy coverage and this one is just not. I really, really like that. It's definitely a more natural like in between, which I like because that's what I liked about the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter. So I use most of it with my fingers because I don't like to waste the foundation, but then I will go in with a beauty blender and blend it out more. If you guys are running out of time to do makeup or you only want to do certain areas and not your whole face, my biggest recommendation to you besides your under eye because it makes you look tired is this area right here. If you can cover this area of your nose, it just already makes you look so put together. I don't know what it is. I think it's because there is the most amount of discoloration around this area. So when it looks consistent and it looks like the same color, it just makes you look even more put together than you are. I will also show you another trick to doing so in one second, but now I'm gonna blend out my under eye. I also do and go over the lid a little bit. Now that this is all done, I'm ready to set my face. So for my under eye, I've been using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Illumination. This one is, as you guys can see, translucent. So I feel like it works for most skin tones. And what I do is I take a light brush and I just densely pack it underneath my eye. I find that when you do it this way, it's pretty natural looking and it also sets the eyes pretty well. I also wanna say that I don't really like to bake anymore because I feel like baking makes the skin not as good after, oh my God, not as good. It's not good for your skin, okay? And then also, it's just a little bit more of a natural look when you just pat loose powder underneath. You can use this for the entirety of your face as well. So you can just use this to go over or use your favorite powder. And what I usually do for the bigger areas of my face is I like to take a bigger brush and I like to just pat this through. 
But the biggest trick I can give you is for this area of your nose, like I said, this is where you can look the most put together when this looks clean. I actually like to take a powder with color. I either use, depending on if I'm tanner or lighter this day, but I'll either take the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour wear. This is the foundation powder, or this is the benefit one. Then I will use it around my nose. So I'm a little bit lighter now, my tan kind of faded. So I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal. And what I do is I just take the same brush and I pack it in and then I dab it into my nose right here. When you do this, I feel like it just makes you look so put together, like in this area. Like so. Okay, moving on to eyebrows. It kind of looks like it's done already because I actually recently got them delaminated at Benefit in their headquarters. That was such a cool experience. As you can see, my brows are already naturally up. Just to make sure that they stay in place, I just use the Benefit 24 hour brow setter and I just use it to comb it up and just make sure that it stays in place You don't need a lamination in order to use this product I've used this product to help me laminate my brows as well, but this one is now just to help it set its place and go against gravity basically <laughs> Now that this is done, I'm gonna wait for it to dry before I come back into color. Now for the meat of this video, because once again, I feel like what makes this video different is because your girl over here has monolids slash hooded eyelids. So if you are also one of these people, aka Asian people, if you're also someone with hooded eyelids or monolids, then this is going to help a lot. So pretty much for eyeshadow, and this is the important part for the monolids is the eyeshadow. Sorry, I live downtown. The important part in the eye look is definitely in the eyeshadow, especially if you have mono slash hooded eyelids. So the palette that I absolutely love, cannot live without, is the Charlotte Tilbury, the Super Nudes Eye Palette. I do not think they sell this in Sephora Canada. So hopefully you guys can find it in Sephora US or on their Charlotte Tilbury website directly. The first color I use is the lightest color, the nude color, and I put this all over my lid like so. I pretty much just windshield wipe it all the way to the top of my eye. Do this on both sides. The second step is I take another brush and I use this color, which is the second lightest color, and I'm gonna move my way through this palette like so. So I take a little bit, and then here, I'm gonna pretty much just color my eyes, but just not as high. So just to the end of where your eyeball bone is, if that makes sense, and you just do it like so and you can already see the color changing and building up. So once again, like I said, this look is extremely buildable. If you guys want to have a heavier look, you can put on more color, you can make it higher, etc. If you want it lighter, you can do everything the same, but just lower or just not pack on as much color. So now that we have that, the next color we're going to take is this second color and I'm taking a denser brush this time. So I'm putting on this brush and I'm putting this all over my lid again, but not as high as to the eyebrow, just pretty much a half moon underneath the eyeball, if that makes sense. This is what it's gonna look like. I know it doesn't look perfect. We're gonna work on it. So same thing on this side, just doing like a half moon here. You can kind of angle it, which is what I like to do sometimes, is like angle it this way so we already have an uplifting look. Like I said, this is not the finished look, okay? You want to take another brush just for blending. This has been my trick for a very long time. I don't like to use the same eyeshadow brush. I like to use a, another brush just for blending because I feel like it makes it a little bit more seamless and cohesive. That way, like you can see how this was like a very harsh line and now this looks like an ombre. Also, someone said I was like brushing my eyeshadow really harshly, but I'm not. Like this is very light. I think it looks aggressive, but it's very gentle on my eye. So this is what it looks like afterwards. And then now I'm going to take the exact same color, but this time I'm going to just do the inner corners of my eye with the same color. So I take a brush that looks like this. As you can see, it's very like 
flat and precise so I take that only dab it into once again the color we just used and then pretty much just do the corner like so just so it doesn't look like top heavy and it draws in the colors together finally I'm gonna take a really dense brush now so this brush looks as you guys can see very very densely I'm taking the dark brown color dabbing it and doing just the corner of my eye but the trick here for monolids is you want to let it go through all the way to the front and the reason we do this is because when you have hooded eyelids and you open them by doing that and just covering the bases of where it begins hooding it makes your eyes look so much bigger and so much wider like you can see if I were to only do the corner like so, you can see that this one, I'm gonna blend this out and show you, but this one will look much bigger, like that. Whereas this one, it just kind of pulls that way. So this has been the trick that I shared on TikTok and the video is doing really well actually. This is pretty much it for eyeshadow. I feel like whenever people only have eyeshadow on, it looks super crazy, kind of looks like you have a black eye or something. But now when we do eyeliner, it's all going to make sense. For eyeliner, I either use brown or black. If I am doing like a camera day, like today I'm filming some YouTube videos and stuff, I will always use black because it just captures a little bit better on camera. So for eyeliner, I've been using the Sephora pencil liner. This one is their pencil black liner and this one has a smudgy thing at the end this is one of my favorite eyeliners because it's just very convenient and quick to use so I like to pull my eyelid up honestly because I like a really really tight line the way I like to use my eyeliner especially when it's pencil is just really to draw the meat of the eyeliner but I'm gonna clean this up in a second with my pencil liner so this is doing most of the work and I will use the pencil liner and this one is the one by benefit in black this is super precise and you you guys will see what I mean. I'm gonna see if I can look in the mirror and look in the camera. Okay, so as you can see, it looks kind of like a mess, but then like look at that. Look at how sharp that is. So then now I just go in and do a little bit of an outline. And the trick here is you want to go from as little as possible to increasing the amount of eyeliner to get to the very top. Since we have monolids, make sure you let this area dry a little bit because sometimes if you just close your eyes too quickly or just like pull your face up, the color might transfer. So you just want it to wait just a little bit and it should be fine. So now I can, you know, do that to my face and let it crease it will not stamp over okay now that that's done i curl my lashes and put on falsies so just a disclaimer i actually don't really even use a curling wand for this part because i'm putting on false lashes so i just go straight into a mascara the mascara i am currently using is maybelline new york falsies lash lift ultra noir this is really just a formality because the mascara part doesn't matter too too much when you're wearing false lashes the reason i only find that i still put on mascara is to bind them together because it's very awkward from the side if you have your lashes and then you can see like your natural lashes either pointing down or just like not having like a lifted look with mascara so for my bottom lashes i am one of those people that always do bottom lashes i like to use the l'oreal telescopic mascara because this mascara is just so insanely precise that it can help me get all the little hairs I find that the little ones specifically are just so hard to get. So that's why this mascara is extremely great.
Okay, and now time for false lashes. I feel like you guys are going to be in shock of what I'm going to do because I feel like now I'm known for the person that puts the lashes underneath. I've literally gotten approached at the gym going like, aren't you that lash girl that puts her lashes underneath or something on TikTok? It's so funny. But anyway, the point is, if you want to try that, definitely give that a go. And there's a tutorial on my YouTube and also on TikTok. But lately, for the sake of time and efficiency, I discovered a new product that helps me put on my lashes super fast and actually looks quite seamless. I feel like for a more, even more natural look, I still prefer the under and a more like durable look. I just know that if I go through a tornado, if I put my lashes under, it will not move. That is still my most durable and most natural method. But lately, the one that I've been using is the Kiss glue liner. This is what it looks like. This is not an ad, by the way. You guys will not believe how well this holds your lashes, and I'm going to show you. So first of all, you're going to grab your liner, and this is why also for the eyeliner, I still do a little bit on top. And the reason why I'm doing double eyeliner, by the way, is because really the purpose of this is for glue, not for color. So I feel like the black of this liner isn't like super super black which is why i still use like a regular liner just for insurance you know for color insurance but basically you take this and you draw over the section where you would want your lashes like so like this once again this doesn't even need to bother with the wing because it's just for the glue i then take my lashes and i simply put it on top like so and voila, you're done. Literally, that took five seconds. Now that the other side is done, I'm going to be doing my face. I feel like a lot of people also ask me what I like to use on my face. So I've been using these two combinations interchangeably. The first one is I use one of the new Benefit blushes. It's in the color Shelly. I feel like this one's really, really good for summer. They actually sent me this early before their launch, so I have been using it for a while. I use this in the apples of my cheeks, like so. And then I go ahead and do the other side. I definitely am one of those people that like to over blush. So sometimes if it's too harsh, I just like to dab it a little bit with my beauty blender, like so. Then I like to take Dandy Lion Twinkle and I also like to just dab this a little bit over so it has a little bit of shimmer. And then finally, I do the contour. So for the contour, I am using Kula Bronzer. So this is what it looks like. This is also their new packaging as well. So I just do this section here to contour my face. Sometimes I will do a heavy contour with cream contour beforehand, but lately I've just been using bronzer. It just depends on my mood that day and how heavy of a look I want to go for. I feel like this look is already pretty heavy for some of you because I know I do wear a lot of products, but this is my natural glam. And then of course the jawline, so it looks a little bit sharper. Oh my God, this is just, has always been a favorite of mine and everyone, everyone loves the Hula Bronzer. I don't think anyone has ever said anything bad about the Hula Bronzer. My last step for contour, and this is actually for my nose, I actually just like to take a brush like this. It's like a very angular brush. And then I like to take just the same bronzer that I've been using on my face. And I just like to stamp this area like so. And I know once again, this looks crazy but we will work this out. I like to draw like the tip like this and then also draw a little bit of a line here. And then I like to take a concealer brush. Honestly, concealer brushes are one of the greatest things you can use to help blend. And then I just blend this through like so. Because I feel like sometimes the beauty blender is still not precise enough. See, now my nose looks snatched. It looks fake. So after I do that, I like to also highlight the tops of my face. So I'm once again using the Dandelion Twinkle and I'm just going in here and I like to just do this part very lightly to just highlight my face and then the tops of this area. Just anywhere that the sun will hit your face like so. I also really like to do this area. I feel like this is my secret weapon, like right here. 
it makes it look really good and that's pretty much it for the face back to the eyebrow because we can't forget i just like to color in the little areas that i feel like are a little sparse like missing a little bit of color i will just use the pencil here it's really funny because this is also my favorite pencil to use for my lip liner so if you guys had seen my trick on tiktok or on instagram i started using my brow pencil as my lip liner and it looks absolutely fantastic so what i do is i just take the eyebrow pencil it doesn't matter what my color is it's what your eyebrow color is because i think that's what makes it complement you really well but the color that i have and i'm using the goof proof brow pencil i have it in the color four so i just line the bottom of my lip like so this is gonna look crazy but bear with me so now that you have it lined up like this, it looks insane, but we're gonna blend. I just blend this color in. Then I'm using the Sugar Petal Fresh Lip Balm. Sorry, the color is Sugar Petal. This is their tinted lip treatment. And then this is just a very natural red color. This is what it looks like. And then I just put it all over my lips. And this is pretty much the makeup look. And then I just finish this entire look off with the setting spray. Voila, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.